Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to NASCAR 06 Fantasy Cup 2. Recording these back to back this time, so I think, you know, I'm ready, I guess. I don't know, as ready as I'll ever be for Dodge Raceway Stadium, which is going to be a thing. Let's do this. Yep, we gained four, but ugh, not exactly what we were looking for. All right, here we go. Let's be careful here at the start, not to immediately get into trouble. Now this is a track where you can you can kind of use the apron. Probably a good idea to sometimes, especially when you got fresh rubber. Gotta watch out for all the people who are gonna be mad. You know, it's it's gonna happen. We made Casey mad right at the end of that last race. But uh, usually, and I'm probably jinxing myself, but usually the AI are not great here. And uh, we can uh, usually gain a bunch of spots early. I have been known to win this race by one, even one time, two laps in career mode, I think it was. But you need, you need things to go your way as far as pit stops. If they do that thing where they wad up trying to get on the pit road and cause a caution, it can really screw you. So we gotta we gotta do our best to not short pit realistically. Because uh, that's a good way of getting caught a lap down. But as you can see, we're already in 10. Like the AI just not super great here. So uh not too surprised by this i expect to get out in front and and look who is out in front by the way we talked about jeff gordon's rough start of the season he is on or in the lead right now he started i think second vickers won the poll but he's already fallen back but uh anyway yeah uh jeff gordon trying to make up for a rough start of the season but i expect us to get out in front lead for a while and then we'll just see what happens with uh pit stops it's a hundred lap race i would assume we only pit once but you never know you never know excuse me jimmy let me get into you there all right we are in a third like I say there are just going to be tracks where we are going to dominate, even from last and even on Legend. But there are other tracks that are just very, very tough. Uh, California was one of those, and we got through it with a top 10. I, again, we should have gotten a top 5. If we'd have had a few more laps on our tires, we would have won that race easy, but... They went, and, you know, I know there's going to be... You know, backseat driver, armchair quarterback, whatever. Comments there, you'll be like, oh, you know, you could have could have backed up the corners. You could have run a different line. But there's just a thing when those tires all go like that. And, like, it wasn't even just yellow. Right rear was red. When that happens, it doesn't matter what line you run or, or how much throttle you use. You are going to be out of control. And... Um, there was just no saving it. Had Kyle not hit us and Kevin not hit us, I think we still would have probably ended up about fifth. But again, we we made we made our bed and we had to lie in it. We we made those guys mad, you know. Um, it was unfortunate, especially with Harvick, because the caution didn't come out that time when we looped it, and so I had to careen it back up the track, hoping to hit the wall and, and bring out a caution and I just of course rammed right into Harvick so he was mad at us Kyle I, it may have been that same incident or a different one I don't really remember man Casey Mears just doored uh, John Andretti oh I gotta be careful here there we go 
that sneeze caught me so off guard. I was, I kind of felt like a tickle and I thought, all right, let me get to this straight away. But, oh my God, they all just hit pit road. All right. Let's make sure we, they're pitting early, which means this is probably a, a two stop race then for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, you see how they just dive off like that? It's so easy for them to wreck each other that way. But anyway, I thought, man, if I could wait till I get straightened out to pause, but then it just happened, man, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> ironically about half of them pitted or maybe less than half actually about a third of them pitted and then the others have not yet but we need to keep it low be careful also can cause what can cause cautions is them exiting pit row as well but it's that entry that really does it because there's that divider right there Casey Mears, did you, was he coming off of pit road or going down it? Because it looked like he was out there and then back on, and I'm really confused by that. But anyway, yeah, they can end up getting pushed into that divider and, and bring it out of caution. So that's that's where that can happen. Them pitting this early tells me, though, that it's it's probably a two-lap, or a two-lap. <laughs> God dang it, man. My brain is not working. A two-stop race. Yes. Kane, I uh, I don't think you're mad enough to take a swipe at me, and that clean pass there should cool you a little bit further. I don't know how I'm allies with Kyle Petty, but hello, Kenny Wallace as well. I guess we raced around each other a ton there in the back of California, so... And for those who aren't familiar with all the mechanics of it, you can make allies without ever using share draft. Clean passes... If you make clean passes, that is not how you do it. <laughs> if you make clean passes on people, even when you're just lapping them, uh, then you gain alliance with them. And, uh, yeah, that is a good way of, uh, of making friends without having to use share draft. Share draft is fine. Uh, for certain scenarios, but, uh, but yeah, it's uh, more often than not, you're going to find that you become friends with people that you just pass a lot, and a lot of times that's the back markers, but that's okay, you know? Rather have them on your side than against you, right? If you... If you make an enemy of somebody that's in the back, then they are going to be there every time you go to lap them. They're going to be trying to kill you or block you at least. So, yeah, man, Vickers started on the pole, and I'm lapping him now. Granted, I'm I'm getting through this field crazy fast, but like still, second place. So I think it's still probably Gordon started second, and he's only six seconds behind me. But Vickers just lapped, so. Not uh, not good for Vickers there. It was, was really good in qualifying and not good in uh, race drum, apparently. So far, this is going well, though. They didn't bring out a caution when they pitted. Not everybody has pitted yet. A lot of people pitted early, really. Lap 20 and then a few here and there since. But still not everybody because otherwise we would see... Uh, that we have a like a two lap lead or whatever. So I'd say a, a decent third to half of the field has not pitted yet, which is interesting. Man, we've caught Mark Martin, who was was uh, running pretty good. I see Tony Stewart up there. So we are fast approaching, lapping most of the field naturally, even without pit stops being a factor so assuming nothing crazy happens as I jinx myself uh, <laughs> we should okay feels down to half feels down to half we will have to so the guys that pitted with 20 or 20 laps in they they realistically knew what they were doing to make it uh, on one more stop so we'll definitely have to pit again. If we run this all the way through, we'll have to pit again on like 20 to go. We pretty much, now nah, I mean tire wear, that's a whole other thing, but 
at least I won't be losing control as much here on old tires. You can you could definitely work with old tires. Uh, Some place like this, way better than you can at uh, somewhere like California, where you need every every ounce of grip that you can possibly get. Yeah, Jeremy is our friend. Shane Meal, who was a thorn in our side, kind of in that race, ends up being an ally as well. Schrader is Red Baron car this week. And Jimmy Johnson, who, as of the time that I'm, uh, that I, wow, John, wow, as of the time I'm recording this, uh, Jimmy has qualified for the Daytona 500 on speed. His return to NASCAR, which is really cool. Really, really cool. Granted, I know he's only running, you know, a few races or whatever. But it still does my heart good to see someone from... Oh, Dale, you kind of came down on me. Uh, see someone from this era that's, that still can make it happen like that. I mean, Harvick's having his last ride this year, and uh, that's going to be sad. Hey, we've caught Jeff Gordon, by the way. He still hasn't pitted. But we are about to lap him, and naturally, that's crazy. That's how fast we are. Uh, but anyway, Kevin's having his last ride. Truex, maybe. It's hard to say. He hasn't confirmed or denied that. Kurt's done. You know, it's it's kind of a crazy time. But, uh, you know, Jimmy Jimmy's made his comeback. I don't think Jimmy wanted to quit when he did the last time. So it's kind of good that he's going to get a little redemption come back. Hopefully have some good races. If he freaking wins the Daytona 500, that'd be unbelievable. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, but if he did, that would be that would be amazing, honestly. All this chattering I'm doing, and I'm just slicing my way through the field. Again, uh, not everyone has pitted. A lot of them are, I guess, doing like I'm doing and just going to run it out. I was kind of hoping they would all pit before me so that I wouldn't have to worry as much about a caution coming out. I mean, I am a lap ahead, but the amount of time that you're on pit road here because you travel all around that outside thing, um, I'm definitely going to lose my advantage. And if a caution came out, you know, that could be problematic. I think would be okay now that we're a lap ahead that we wouldn't at least get lapped, but yeah. I'm just going to go as long as I can, which should be around lap 80, but I have been pushing it really hard, just getting as many of these guys lapped as possible, going as hard as I can, so realistically, it's probably going to be more like lap 75, but uh, I mean, we're still running really fast laps, and uh, yeah. And somehow not not making people mad here. We're, we're doing mostly clean passes. Except for a couple guys who have like chopped, chopped me off a bit. Or just a couple times when I drove in on, on somebody's bumper a little too close. But most of these most of these passes have been clean. So we're building alliances. We're cooling off rivalries. It's great. We got uh, Smoke here who's going to dive down in front of us. Okay, okay. I hit him. I hit him. I'm sorry. <laughs> and let's gather that back up. You see Kyle is actually not showing rival anymore. We've already passed him twice clean here, and that was enough, I guess. Plus, when he got his revenge, that cooled him off a bit, too. Anytime they get... Uh, to the point where they're mad enough to hit you. After they hit you, they usually calm down a decent amount. So between that and lapping him clean here. <laughs> well, we passed him once and then lapped him, I think, twice now. And we haven't hit him. So that uh, was enough to make him not have the icon anyway. I mean, he probably still has a little rivalry against this, but not much. Okay, red, red tire. You know, right front's in trouble. We'll be pitting pretty soon. I mean, we could pit any time, any time. But, uh, 
I'm trying to wait just to see when might be the best time to do that. Well, obviously, when we do want to, we need to be on the outside. Coming out of two, realistically. We haven't hit the red fuel light yet. So it actually might end up being close to 80 again. Or that, what I was thinking before. So, uh, I honestly feel like I should probably pit soon, though, to be honest. I think now, it's lap 75, and I think, I couldn't remember what the pit road entry speed was. Uh, yeah, I really don't need a full tank, to, to be honest, but... I guess I'll just take it. So as long as a caution doesn't come out, we should maintain, at the very least, a lead lap here, right? And then the rest of the guys who haven't pitted will pit. I mean, we just lapped up to, I think, 10th, two laps down. So we should be good. We might... Uh, temporarily lose the lead to Gordon or whoever's in second uh, we just got to be careful here okay that was Gordon and them hitting pit road well we, we more than lost the lead I'm actually surprised oh it's Jimmy didn't pit yeah we're a lap down so we actually would get screwed with a caution right here that's not good need to get by Jimmy now all right all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. So we had, that goes to show you how long we're on pit road there. We we had almost a two lap lead. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's crazy, but we're okay now. Caution comes out, we're fine. And also we should clear these guys. Okay, not everybody has pitted, but it's okay. It's okay, Tony Stewart stayed out, I guess, to lead a lap, get some bonus points. Ooh, careful. Still don't want a caution to come out if we can help it. Because once everybody pits, we're going to have a huge advantage. Alright, so we're in second. It's just Stewart who is out there. No way he can stretch his fuel, right? <laughs> that would be wild. I don't even think I could have stretched my fuel this far, but again, yeah, I can go. Okay, leaders are pitting. We're fine. <laughs> the the AI can definitely go further. There's no doubt, but uh, we are four wide. We were four wide for sure there. Uh, yeah. Still some people pitting, but we have re-inherited the lead. And once these guys cycle through, we should have, honestly, close to a two-lap lead, I would assume. Right? Because I feel, yeah, there's Jeff up there. So, the lap in three quarters. All right. So, this worked out. <laughs> it surprisingly has gone green all the way. And uh, it's worked out for us. We, we stretched it. I could have gone, you know, a few more laps. Maybe maintain the lead. But I don't, I don't think it was worth it. And we, we pitted at a good time when we were clear of guys and able to uh, not have any issues. Yeah, I don't know if Jeff's still second. I think he probably is. Uh, Harvick's still got the old red rival icon here. So if I could get by him clean, that's going to help our situation. Clear some of that rivalry. All right. He's not a good way to make friends. I didn't do anything. Uh, okay. 
Vickers who started on the pole, you know, putting him three laps down here. Oh goodness, he came down there, didn't he? Oh, that was almost a mess. <laughs> I got way too, way too low there. All right, like nine to go, or sorry, eight to go, and uh, we might just be lapping second place two laps down here. Let's see if he is still second. He is. Wow. We're also making a ton of friends, as I said. So many clean passes from lapping people. <laughs> and uh, we're making a lot of friends, which is good. Well, this race went about as perfectly as it could. Um... The only thing that would have made it even more crazy would have been if I had actually qualified, started on the pole, led every lap, and been probably two laps ahead when I pitted, and then I would have not lost the lead at all. And I would have been uh, able to lead literally every single lap, but we're doing this last to first at every race. It's not going to help us sometimes, but a place like this, it worked out just fine, and we... Uh, we have put on a dominant display. No real incidents. Just constant fast laps. And now we're going to win by two laps. <laughs> I mean, this is all I can say. Some of you probably be like, oh, it's too easy. It's like, I mean, this is, this is legend difficult. It's as hard as it gets. Some tracks are just this way. But it could have easily gone wrong. I could have freaked something up. Pit road stuff could have went wrong, but it didn't. And we win. That's our first win of this fantasy cup. So I'm going to try to... Oh I'm going to try to do a burnout. There we go. A <laughs> little bit of celebration time here at Dodge Raceway Stadium. All right, and here are our race results. We have a margin of victory of two laps. That's crazy. We led 79 of 100 laps on the day. Jeff Gordon finishes second, two laps down, leading 14 laps on the day. Uh, Jimmy Johnson ended up third after starting 11th, and led two laps. Got Jeremy Mayfield in fourth, Ryan Newman in fifth after leading a lap, Greg Biffle sixth, Martin Trix Jr. seventh, Jamie McMurray in eighth, Mark Martin in ninth, and Tony Stewart in 10th after leading three laps. I'm down through the rest of the field here. Waltrip with a good run there. Mike Bliss with another good run. He's really been consistent lately. Brian Vickers led the first lap from the pole, fell to 16th, which is actually an improvement because it looked like he was further back at one point, but uh, he was three laps down. So there is that. Down through the field here. Everybody else ended up. The Bush brothers back there a ways. And, uh, yeah. Who the frick is quick? <laughs> and last place, six laps down, John Andretti. All right. Well, there you have it. We move on to Victory Lane because we actually won. This is the first time we won, so we get to celebrate. Yeah. All righty. Man, the... Freaking battle at the top just stays tight. Ryan Newman takes the points lead by one point over Tony Stewart, who was tied for the points lead last week. Oh, man. Carl Edwards, uh, third, 13 back. Greg Biffle, fourth, 17 back. And we are now in fifth in the points, just 33 points back. We gained quite a few points uh, with that dominant performance at Dodge there. Jimmy Johnson, 6th, Martin Trix Jr., 7th, Mark Martin, 8th, Kurt Busch, 9th, and Dale Earnhardt Jr., currently our top 10. All right. Interesting. Well, let's see. I'm curious about... Okay, Jeff Gordon's moved up to 17th with that performance, and Mike Bliss sat in 18th. Again, just very consistent, like, top 20s from him all the time lately. Uh, Matt Kenseth is kind of uncharacteristically bad right now. Uh, Kyle Busch not doing great. And, uh, yeah, scrolling down through the people you expect to be here. Greg Quick was that guy I saw. We got some randos who are starting, like, one race here. But, uh, yeah. 
We've moved up into the top five in points. We'll see how things go as we move forward. Next week, it's Las Vegas, which is usually pretty good for us. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hammer that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, all those good things. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more. Bye! Just shut up.